We got fog rolling in from the hills. It's rainy. Zeke's over there somewhere. And he's over here with me. Some people would say this is a crappy day. I quite like it. So do they. Oh, we got some flowers. All right, guys, I got a package. Let's see what's inside. It's next meat. It's made in, I think, Japan. But we have a bunch of different meats that uh, I wanna try out. And so they're all vegan. There we go. On the back, it, sh it shows what it is. This is a skirt steak. I never heard of a skirt steak. And it looks like it's processed soybeans, fermented rice seasoning, yeast extract, apple brewed vinegar, all vegan stuff. So I'm gonna put these in the freezer until I'm ready to use them. Oh, this is a plant-based short rib. So it says next meat right there. Okay, I actually have two more packets. This is what we have, plant-based white cheddar mac. We have another vegan mac and I actually really like it. Uh, mac and cheese hat by Bonza. Bonza is made out of chickpeas and there we go. It's the, uh, the white cheddar. So shells and vegan white cheddar, 12 grams of protein and vegan cheese. Those are the ingredients right there. You can go ahead and pause that if you want. And it just has the directions on the back. And on the side, it's vegan, gluten-free, made from chickpeas, 12 grams of protein, and low in the glycemic index. And then last but not least, it sounds like we have some more mac and cheese here. Better forking flavor, vegan mac and cheese, that actually tastes good. Non-GMO, organic ingredients, plant-based. So there we have it. And those are the ingredients and the nutrition facts, all that good stuff. You can make just all the different flavors, they're all the same flavor. Okay, so they're all the same flavor, so they hooked me up. Better pork and mac and cheese. Love the packaging here. And I'm looking forward to seeing this in the stores. I'm looking forward to trying this too. No nuts, no soy, no sugar, no dairy, no cholesterol, nothing strange. So mac and cheese that you can uh, be happy for. The company's name is Better Forking Foods and uh, thanks for sending me the mac and cheese. I'll definitely give it a try. Here's a little update on the plants. They're growing. They've all sprouted, every one of them, even if it's just a little tiny sprout. Some of them are bigger. It's gonna be awesome just coming over here and cutting off some lettuce and herbs, making a salad. I just made some vegetable soup and put some bok choy in there, baby bok choy. We got some carrots, potatoes, onion, peppers, and uh, a vegetable medley from Trader Joe's, all in there, looking good. I used some veg veggie broth and some miso and some other spices. Oh, also, I made some tofu. You guys all love that tofu. My brother wore this shirt yesterday, Katie just told me. We're, we're at my parents' house. This is what they typed up for me. The guy called me and gave me an interview. And this is what they typed up for me. And this is, I'm going to send that to everybody that, and thank them very much for doing that. I've always, you know, dabbled in art. I, I like art. I, I like to paint and I like to sketch. Thomas Cooney stands at the base of the Washington Monument with a pad of paper and a renewed sense of pride in his military service. Drafted into the Air Force, he spent some time as an MP in Italy during the Vietnam War, honing that love for art. Because I saw the originals. I still can't paint a Da Vinci, though. Now, I thought this was a great sketch, and mere minutes before we headed to another monument. Yeah. 
you don't want a picture of this. <laughs> the last time we saw Thomas Cooney, he was arriving back with the honor flight here in Syracuse. We had this to go home with, but he says he can do a lot better. So let's go see what he's been up to for the last couple of weeks and see who's helping him out. It was the most awesome experience I've ever had as a veteran. <laughs> Just flying down there, seeing all the memorials, seeing all the other veterans who were with me. The Honor Flight experience, welcome home, pomp and circumstance. It was all night and day from decades ago. The first time I got home back in 1970, they didn't really greet us. They didn't particularly like us. That now leaves a growing number of veterans who haven't been on the flight, still adjusting and needing resources. Cooney takes art classes and so much more at nearby Clear Path for Veterans. I'm with a, with a group from Syracuse that were in the Army, they were in the Marines, they were in the Navy, and we all graduated together. And we meet up there on Wednesdays for canteen. Tomatoes? Oh yeah, sure. The Chittenango locale is a hub for much more than just a meal among friends once a week. National Outreach Manager Terry Finley Thank you, sir. takes us on a tour of the property. Um, whether you're a veteran or not a veteran, when you come out here, and especially during summer or spring and summer mm. and fall. It's beautiful. Yeah, you feel at peace, right? Training service animals, professional development, and even some... Hey, let's go! Less traditional healing methods, yeah, they've got it. So they can come here and get exposure to it and then Shark could kind of tell them uh, the healing properties of holistic type care. So whether vets like Cooney need help with things like budgeting, honing that hobby, or just having a place where they always feel welcome. It means a lot uh, to a veteran. It's here, we love it. There's an entire community helping to redo that welcome home. I'll never forget it. Kevin Hayes. Spectrum News. We got this Easter cake that we never got to eat on Easter. Yeah. Wait, wait, here we go. Oh, everybody liked your video. They want to see you make lasagna now. Okay. okay. We got to make lasagna soon. Soon. See, Katie says soon. We got a little, a little two minute teaser we were going to put up. Ooh. About what we did yesterday. Nice. <laughs> She has to do. <laughs> We're going for a walk with the whole no, fam. There's, there's... Yeah, there's some easy verse. So yeah, Chris is making a video. You want to say hi? Like hi, yeah. you going for a walk? Yeah, I'm going for a walk. Nice. You like to watch? You like to watch Chris on the video on the TV, right? I got two and a half weeks off. Yeah. What? Did you see your sister? You see your big sissy yeah. make yeah. cookies in the last video? Yeah. She made cookies. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And there's mom and Katie way back there. They're coming. The bow cam. You like cake? Her, her mom's name is Cookie. Yeah, Cookie made the cake. Cookie made the cake. We have way too many conversations going on at the same time. Vegan cake. Look at that. Mary, you want to turn? Of course she does. Of course. Katie's trying the cake. Is it good? It's good. She likes it. I like cake. I like cake. I saw this thing. Is it good? Mm -hmm. After three weeks frozen? Nice. And here's the cake box. Is that a barrette or is that cake? That's, that's cake. That's my hair. But you got a piece of cake right here. Oh. There you go. <laughs> the never ending pop. Hey Rachel, what do you got there? Look at your little baby. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, do CPR on it. <laughs> <laughs> look at look at the dogs trying to get it. No, it's really expensive. <laughs> um, but look at all the plants. They're all growing, all the veggies. This is gonna be fun. Sustainability. So you're, you're painting the wood color white. Oh, look at me in it. Before and after. Sorry, we can't get it before. <laughs> you're gonna have to remember all the other videos I've done. 
You gotta get these befores. Oh, there we go. That's what it looked like. The inner wood right there on the white. Inner wood. I've been feeding the chipmunk peanuts and, and bread and for the birds and everything for weeks. And I haven't seen him eat anything. And then you feed him and he starts eating it. And then I come over here with the camera and he's gone. Yeah. There's also a bird that just laid an egg in the nest right by the door. Now there's... There's two eggs in there now. Come on, Indy. Here we have some falafel from King David's out in Fayetteville, New York. This is a falafel wrap with some extra falafel, the salad, some baba ganoush, and a pickle. Rachel got some fries with hers. She likes fries. I love it, girl. <laughs> there it is. The wall is painted white in the kitchen. This is what we got going so far. What type of bricks are they? Brick veneer. And this is the side you're using, the, the white. Since the kitchen is all torn apart still, we keep eating out. What do we got here? I got vegan curry with vegan chicken and tofu. Summer rolls and vegan pho. I'm about to dig in. Can we sing happy birthday? I started doing it last time. It's a... Uh... Yay! Can I eat my cupcake? Eat it. <laughs> Can I eat oh, my cupcake? Well, my cupcake. Oh, 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 my cupcake. Oh,
falafel sandwich from a place called the Pita Dream here in Syracuse. Never been there. Finally a nice day. I got into the shed. I just fixed the door. It, it was all falling off and I put it back on its hinges, straightened the hinges out and screwed it in. Just got the new lawnmower over here and uh, got a lot of mowing to do over here. But up here, it looks like a jungle. It looks like a tree fell down over in the path of the trail. I've only been in here one other time. It looks like we've got a little woodwork shed and we got some wood tables and they left some things in here. It's a little bit, little bit insulated. We got some room up there. Not sure what's up there. We got a light where extension cord comes up and it goes all the way up to the house, but it's uh, it's cut. I don't know if the animals did that or if the last owner cut it so there wouldn't be a fire. I don't know. But right now there's no electricity. A little window over here looking out into the forest. This could be a little house, couldn't it? Not really sure what that is. Oh, that looks like a pressure washer. So what are you doing in here? Repotting some plants. They were all overdue. They're getting bigger, growing? Yep. Potting them up one size bigger so that way they'll get even bigger this summer. What's your favorite one here in front of you? Is this one? Right Is that Syngonium? Yep, that's Syngonium. See, I know. These are huge. Well, that's all for this video, but I have a lot more for you, so stay tuned. As always, subscribe, survive, watch out for zombies, and I'll see you soon.